Setting up for MIDI recording is fairly simple, but it takes some very specific steps in order to be able to actually generate sound and be ready for recording. First, you'll need to make sure that your controller is connected to your computer via USB. Once that step is done, you'll simply go to Track, New, or you'll hold Command plus Shift and N to create a new track. Now, there are several ways to set this up, and you'll notice that in the list over here, it shows that we have both a MIDI track and an instrument track. More on the MIDI track later. For now, we're going to choose an instrument track. And then we're going to go to Stereo. For now, let's just name our instrument Synth. And we'll only create one. And hit Create. The instrument track is a combination of an audio track plus a MIDI track all in one. And so we actually get to set up and route our audio path through this track while actually using MIDI on the track. In order to set up a few of the things that we need in our window here, we can open in the edit window by clicking this little dialog, instrument, and inserts A through E. As long as we have those two, we'll be ready to route and go. The most important part about the instrument panel is that it shows us the routing from our MIDI devices. At this point, because you're typically only routing one device, you're going to select all. But if you're routing, let's say, 16 different devices, you could actually specify each one and all the channels that they're routing from. This time, though, it should say all. And you should be able to see your actual specific controller in the list. Now we don't have anything to route to yet, so now we are going to insert a virtual instrument. So in this insert tab, we're going to click on it and go over multi-channel plugin down to instrument. Now depending on the array of sounds and options that you have here, um, there are several different ones that may be available immediately to you. Things like the mini grand, uh, vacuum, um, and any other number of elements that you might like. For now, we can just choose something simple, um, like vacuum, and the vacuum plugin will open up. At this point in time, once vacuum is active, you should see in your instrument panel an output that actually shows that it's being routed to vacuum. Now, you won't actually hear any audio yet at this point in time if you play your keyboard. So in order to activate sounds, we actually have to record enable the track. Once the record enable is activated, we should be able to see and hear sounds from our synth. At this point in time, you're ready to begin recording. 